Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here's Porty's Garage. On today's episode, we're back on the 996, and you know, I was doing some research the other day and I came across cleaning out your radiator grills. And as I looked at mine, they are pretty messed up. Got a screw in there, a rock, bunch of garbage, so we're gonna do that today. And that entails taking off the front bumper. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack up the car. You don't need to take off the tires, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to make it a little bit easier, get the car a little bit higher. And in that, I came across this that I, I hadn't used before. These are jack pads and they're made for the 996. Um, this little package came in a nice little uh, case for four of them. Uh, not that you need all four, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use those, jack up the car, and uh, we're gonna do a time lapse on that one. You guys don't need to see us doing that, but let's get to it. Take a look at these vents here real quick so if you look inside here there is a ton of debris in there i think you can even see a screw down there if you see that and then over here in the center you can kind of see that a little bit too there's a lot of crap in there so the center maybe you could get by hand without taking this off but then here's the other side just a lot of debris in here so we're gonna go ahead and take this bumper cover off all right guys, first thing we're gonna do is take off this wheel liner. I'm not gonna take the whole thing off, just enough to get it out of the way. Interesting thing is this wheel liner goes here and then comes around a little bit to the front here. So a um, little more than I, I originally anticipated, but first thing you wanna do is pop these off and then we'll take off this screw here. Now go down under. Got three screws here for this air dam. We got two T30s. And then the final push pin right here. So let's do the next thing that we need to do. I'm gonna pop the trunk and do the front part of this. All right guys, with the bonnet open, for those of you across the pond. We're gonna go ahead and take out these four little retaining nuts. All you do is you turn them 90 degrees and they should come right out. Should being the operative word. Next thing we need to do is take off these two screws on either end. Okay, the next thing I want to do is get the side marker lights. All right, on the side marker light to take this out, I'm going to pull back the wheel liner here a little bit. Uh, Mick's going to come in on the back side. There's a little clip. I'm going to pinch it, pull this out, and then we'll disconnect the light. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, it's this little piece right here. You just kind of pinch it a little, pop right out. All right, let me come up here. Now on this connector, you'll see a little metal piece there. You just kind of push that in and then these come right out. If I can keep it pushed in, there we go. And there's our side marker light out. All right, now that we got the side marker light out, there's two screws we need to take out. There's one right up here in the front and then there's gonna be one right on the bottom. So let's take these out. See it? There we go, nice and loose now. So let's go over to the other side and do that side. All right, now we're underneath again. Uh, three screws here in the front, one, two, three. And if you didn't catch, there is a screw here in the corner and then one over here in the corner, or sorry, right there that you have to take out. So let's go ahead and take these out. This should get us pretty much there. The last thing we gotta do is take out the temperature sensor. So let's go around and do that. 
Okay guys, last thing to do is take out this temperature sensor right here. It just kind of pulls back a little bit. There we go. Wasn't too bad at all. All right, now we should be close to being able to pull this. Well, there you go. It's gonna come off now easy. Give me that light. There you go. Now you can really see in there how much crap we've got. All right, let's take off these shrouds so we can get in there and clean that better. All right, guys, I didn't realize we had to take this part off as well. So we're going to figure this out as we go. It looks like there's a screw here, here, a couple here, and I think one up here underneath the headlight. So let's go ahead and try to take this off and see if we get her. T27, by the way. What, 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 what? Sensor. Let's see if we can push this through. Let's see if that's really working. Oh, yeah. No problem. There we and go. sweet. Look at all of this crap, guys. Holy cow. I am so glad we're doing this. I didn't think it'd be that bad. I didn't know and why now. you were doing it, but oh, what is that? Foam piece. Mm. Think there's bugs in there? Yeah, <laughs> could be. Wow. All right, let's go. Well, so the other set. side will be the same. Middle one we got to figure out yet. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. So good to be doing this. What's down in the bottom there? Just garbage. That looks like there's a critter. A dead chipmunk? No. <laughs> hey, wait, is that bones? No. <laughs> a short? <laughs> Alright guys, for this center one, we just pinched the top a little bit on both sides, rotated it down. Now I'm just kind of oh, so got the clips. Out. There's clips Ooh. right there. Right on the rubber. See them right there? Yep, right there. There, 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 and on just the got bottom. Push there and on the bottom. And then you can see all the crap on this center cooler. Wow, what a bunch of garbage. You'll get like 10% more efficiency or 15 <laughs> cleaning all this crap out. All right guys, let's get the shop back and get this baby cleaned up. Okay guys, I'm vacuuming this out. So first and foremost, <laughs> this is aluminum. Do not press hard on this at all. If you need to use anything, use one of these little nylon brushes just to kind of rake it a little bit to get stuff out. I'm a little nervous with my center console one because there's a lot of rocks that were stuck in it. Um, but hopefully we don't have any leaks on that when we get ready to do it. Um, that being said, as you can see, there's two different uh, coolers here. Um, so I'm gonna take off these two screws here, T27s, and then I'm gonna pull this back a little bit off this notch and see if I can get back in there and clean that up a little bit. The, Big reason you want to do this guys is you saw the garbage up here and look at that right there that these are gonna rust out if you don't keep it clean so let's see if we can't get this a little bit apart and uh, get behind there a little bit again these are all <laughs> aluminum parts over here so we want to be very careful I'm not liking the way I'm feeling this. It's not moving. Nope. Oh, 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 almost. You need a little more. Look, there you go. There we there go. go. So is it oh. rubber on the back side of that over there? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. This is why you want to do this, folks. So I'm going to support this so it doesn't hang. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get the vacuum out and see if we can't vacuum this up.
I'm gonna get some compressed air and blow this out a little bit better. We'll do that off camera, but uh, gonna have to do the other side now. Okay guys, the center vent going in, the reason why this worked is there's these three little notches on the top, same thing on the bottom. You just kind of squeeze those. There's, there's holes down here, same thing on the top. There's a few up there. You just gotta squeeze that in there. Um, quick uh, hot tip for you. Put this on before you put the side ones on because the side ones kind of get in the way. So let's go ahead and put this one in. Get it. So it's, there we go. A little more, you still you see it right there? Yeah. There you go. Make sure they're coming through. Three coming through. Yeah, point to one so we can see it. Right here, right here, and right there. And they'll be the same on the top? Yep. Good to go. Let's put the side on. Alright guys, we're all set. We got pretty much everything back together, all cleaned up. One of the things I wanted to note was I did use this nylon brush, very soft, just gently going over to get all that dust and whatnot. It was something you need to do is pull that second uh, radiator out here as they're sandwiched together. So much crap behind there. I don't think this has ever been done on this car, so it's good to do. Otherwise, those radiators are gonna start uh, rusting through and then you're gonna have all kinds of problems. Other uh, quick hot tip I would say is as you're putting these ducts back on, do the center one first. As you can see right in here, the center one's here and the outer one is there and it kind of overlaps that center one. Just be a real pain in the butt to get that center one on after you do the outside ones. So with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw everything back together. Uh, installation is reverse of uh, removal, so uh, we're going to put you on time lapse for that and just put it back together.
Bingo. Just got done torquing up the whip lug nuts, 96 foot pounds as per the manual or 130 newton meters. One of the things I wanted to just bring up, uh, just a hot tip on putting this together. As you're getting this in, the, uh, the dams here slot right into the, the bumper cover here. So make sure when you're putting this on that you're sliding in there. We had a couple that were a little cattywampus, but we figured that out, got her all back together. So with that guys, um, again, make sure you check that out. You saw how much garbage I had in mine. It was, it, it would just end up rusting through and then you're gonna have tons of problems with your radiators and leaking coolant and whatnot. So with that said, thank you guys. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.